Morning everyone, hello YouTubers and hello viewers. My name is Alex. Welcome to our channel, it's EO's Marketplace News. Now, for today, I will be bringing you the most popular topic in the crypto world as of now, all right? And this is a very um, confidential topic, I think. All right, so you can leave your comments and, you know, um, share your opinions after after this video so i know that you're excited to know what is the news about so let's start i'll give you now um for today's news this is brought to us by pcn or preferred currency news lawyer um ripple bumping securities lawsuit to federal court is brilliant all right. Now, this week, the Ripple Labs legal team removed a pending securities lawsuit pertaining to the regularity nature of XRP, the native cryptocurrency of the Ripple blockchain, to federal court. The representatives of Ripple argued that the class action lawsuit was initiated by a group of investors with no geographical limitations, and as such, the case should not be handled by a state court. Um, Skadden, Arp, Slate, Meeker, and Flum um, litigation partner Peter Morrison emphasized that because the amount of controversy exceeds five dollars, um, five million dollars, and was brought on by more than 100 members, Ripple Labs can rightfully remove the lawsuit to federal court. Excuse me. So a putative class action may be removed to the appropriate federal district court if the action purports to be a class action brought on behalf of 100 or more members. Second, any member of a class of plaintiffs is a citizen of a state different from any defendant and the amount in controversy exceeds five million dollars so tactical brilliance according to jake chervinsky a government enforcement um, enforcement defense and securities legislation attorney at cooper and kim um, the move of the legal team of ripple labs to bump a securities lawsuit involving xrp to federal court is brilliant so citing the report of law.com chervinsky said Ripple's legal team showing some tactical brilliance here. It's hard to explain the procedural maneuver in one tweet, and I'm not going to thread this, but suffice to say it's a seriously crafty attempt to go federal. Might not work, but slick regardless. So if the class action lawsuit stayed in the state of court of California, Chervinsky stated that it could still cover a nationwide class action lawsuit. <coughs> Excuse me. He stated the Ripple Labs legal team needed a way to justify the relocation of the class action from state court to federal court. So state courts um, exercise jurisdiction over residents of other states all the time. So it's not usual for a nationwide class action to be resolved in state court. Also, the Securities Act of 1933 gives state and federal courts concurrent jurisdiction over private civil claims. He said, <clears throat> arguing that class action lawsuits can be dealt with at the state court level. Now, as tweeted by um, Galgatron, at Galgatron, so you see their odds of winning improved by this move. Um, as Jake Chervinsky tweeted, I can speak to their odds of winning since the case is still so young and I don't know all the facts, but it's fair to say Ripple's lawyers think they have better odds of winning in federal court than in state court or else they wouldn't be trying so hard to remove the case. Okay, so Chervinsky explained that the Ripple Labs team likely views the odds of winning the class actions lawsuit higher in federal court than in state court as the team placed a significant effort in removing the case. Right, so guys, if the federal court of the U.S. rules in favor of Ripple Labs in the class action lawsuit, 
then it would provide clarity on the regulatory nature of XRP for the first time in the country's history and the company could clarify once and for all that XRP is not considered a security under existing laws in the U.S. So Ripple Labs legal team Confident Morrison claimed the plaintiffs did not admit that a lack of information about the nature of XRP transactions caused confusion in the process of investing in the asset and as such the scope of the lawsuit um, filed by the plaintiffs remains unclear. So plaintiffs do not allege that they lacked information about the nature of these transactions and nevertheless some plaintiffs claim that they were somehow injured because defendants were all were allegedly required to register xrp as a security with the sec but failed to do so okay so guys if you have comments and if you want to open up your opinions regarding the news then feel free to comment down below on the comment section all right so guys this is the most trending and talk about topic for today this is one of the most popular news in the crypto world now if you like to have more and want to be notified every day and be the first one to get notified subscribe now to preferred currency news using your preferred method you can use your paypal for a monthly recurring for only 15 dollars per month fiat or if you like, you can use the Coinbase option for $180 annual subscription that's to be paid with your favorite crypto. Okay, so guys, introducing the man behind Preferred Currency News. Um, his name is Donald Lewis or Donald the Guru. You can call his number uh, plus 1-801-601-8105 or WhatsApp 1801-471-6939. You can add him on Skype, Donald.fcda. You can follow him on Twitter at Preferred Crypto. Join our Telegram channel, which is PreferredCrypto.news, and Telegram PM to Donald Lewis at Preferred Crypto. But if you like to leave us a message directly to the website, your name and email is all um, is also required, and of course your message and just hit send. All right. So guys, when you subscribe, you can be the first one to get notified and become one of our affiliates. By that, you can just click this website. I mean this link and it will take you to the affiliate section. So here, this is the affiliate section of preferredcurrency.news. Now, if you're not affiliate but wish to become one, you will need to apply. So to apply, you must be a registered user on this site. If you have an existing account on this side, please log in. If not, please register. All right, that easy. Now, guys, you, maybe you are now asking yourself, um, what is she proposing, right? What will I be getting if I subscribe to Preferred Currency News? Good question. Here, we will be sending you a um, newsletter every day that is um, every day 12 hours before we post videos here on YouTube that is via email, all right? So on the newsletter that we will be sending you, it will notify you with the latest and current news and articles of the day. Um, on the newsletter also, there will be available websites that you can visit, all right? A lot of information available on the newsletter but of course guys I want to introduce to you the Donald's research list for me this is the real and this is the most important information that you can get or you can have right <coughs> excuse me because it makes your life easier okay um, this is the um, Donald's research list as for today all right november 12 2018 so guys um this is a complete list list of tokens or coins so yes you heard me this is a complete list of tokens and coins so you don't need to um complicate yourself right you don't need to think a lot of things you don't need to think or to remember a lot of websites for you to check or to save a lot of websites for you to check what are the current status of that specific token or coin because Donald has the best solution for you 
Okay, it's the Donald's research list. Again, it's a complete um, list of token or coin, and you can see its status of the day. So, yes, status of the day meaning it will be updated every day. So, when you subscribe, you can check the Donald's research list. Yes, and you can, if you like, you can have a copy of this. Okay, now, guys this cannot be seen anywhere else on the internet only here at preferred currency news all right so guys um as you can see why is it that there are a lot of colors all right color yellow blue green okay red have negative news orange or tan are neutral yellow or fair green have good news blue are showing the best news so when you subscribe again you can have a copy of this one but guys reminder this sheet is not a recommendation to buy or sell anything okay you must research each one for yourself and then you can decide but we are just helping you to make your um, life easier and make your research easier than we have the Donald's research list for you, right? So for example, um, let's try just if you want to find, okay, you want to be easy. You can, if you want to find um, names of the tokens or coin, you can simply control F, let's say DAV, here, DAV token. So for DAV today, let's see here, DAV, all right. So for DAV, um, USD recent price, 0 0.00552022. Share of total market volume is 0 0.00001137. Google searches compared to the past seven days, 0%. It's crossing down 50. Number of positive technical indicators, it's four. Um, 24 hours cur current volume versus price zero seven days weekly volume versus price 15.25 30 days monthly or uh, 30 days or monthly volume versus price zero and percent issued it's 32.94 percent all right how about um eos today okay so guys eos for EOS, USD recent price, it's 5.31516171. Share of total market volume is 0 0.0537264A. Google searches compared to the past seven days, it's 90%. It's also crossing down 50 for SMA movement. Number of positive technical indicators, too. 24 hours current volume versus price, it's 0 0.46. Seven days volume versus price, 50.23. 30 days volume versus price it's 71.94 and percent issued it's 90.06 percent all right so guys that's simple um you just need to subscribe to preferredcurrency.news and then with just only 15 dollars monthly fiat um you can have all these informations right very accessible anywhere anytime you want to check you just need to open up your email and then check for the newsletter that we will be sending you every day right so um guys what are you waiting for now um please 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 visit preferredcurrency.news and don't forget to subscribe all right so this has been alex thank you so much for watching my video and by the way um we are not financial advisors okay so we recommend that you make your own research and decide for yourself all right okay i hope to see you again soon so bye for now